The time of the lone wolf has passed. It's time to work together. If we don't learn to work with the hardest people in the world to work next to, then we'll never make it. We have to come together to pray for peace and harmony. And prayer is putting into action. And the harmony is the success of what we build. Every year since 1972, thousands of people known as the Rainbow Family have gathered in national forests across the country to build a temporary commune. They celebrate nature through music and dancing, they pray for world peace, and they practice collaboration on a large scale. During downtime and mealtimes at the events, the kitchens, often located in a circle around the main meadow, become a hub for community and hospitality. My name is Rhythm. I've been coming for 25 years. It directly affected my life. I was a young kid that was a seeker and loved like learning from elders. Was lucky enough to choose some good paths instead of just coming here like it's a party. Rainbow Gathering is a deep need for harmony that's missing in our local communities. Cannibals are accepted here as long as it's consensual cannibalism. Okay, that should tell you all about Rainbow Family. Somebody told me basically that a bunch of people live in the woods and uh, they help each other and I was like that sounds like something I'd do and uh, yeah and then I came across Rainbow and I met Camp Wannaburn. We all connected really well and we were helping each other and you know you just help out and I decided to stay and I, I don't think I'm going to go back to normal life for a while. I worked in, I have a great grandfather kitchen, a grandfather kitchen and a father kitchen that came before me and I learned things from him and one thing I learned is you got to feed your youth or you'll have a middle generation that's not there, you'll be sitting under saggy tarts. This is our cook pit and that's our living room and the living room is a very important thing that keeps people out of cook's ways and keeps safety. We have a tool shed and we have to secure it from random moments and our children make mistakes. Over the hill, the right distance, is our slit chitter. What is the work that you guys do here? Oh, well, that's big. Consciousness. Okay, well, that's one thing. Well, I can just say something about the six years that I've been running this kitchen. It's like, if you run a kitchen, you have to be more conscious than all the people around you about things that they don't have to think about half the time like sanitation. Oh, that dish station that I'm very yes. proud of. It's hands-free. It could be nicer. We could have built giant shelves and stuff like this. But I start doing this and I start teaching. And uh, this kitchen I want to live on when they leave here. I want the youth to grow up and remember this and do things. A kid can come here and have so much fun partying and miss all that and never even know how great it felt to have a group of guys that were all tight-knit and secured each other and no real values in life. There's a guy watching my back. Rainbow's such an inviting place and you, when you don't have anything that you have to do, all of a sudden you want to do way more than you did before. And My biggest takeaway was probably how free everybody is allowed to be with each other. And There is some people who are very comfortable enough that they're walking around without any clothes on and there's people who are dancing around saying silly things and just being themselves and maybe not so socially acceptable, but like here it is and it's wonderful. What is something that you would want them to take away from learning about the Rainbow Gathering? It's so hard to say because there's different levels of coming here. Your first time here, I want you to go get lost because you'll never be lost the same way as you were the first time. Next year, come back and work side by side. And uh, But uh, what would I like them to take away from this? Finding some of their own individualism. Here they can look around at a whole group of people and everybody's exactly different. And they're like, wow, you guys are all so beautiful. <laughs> You know, it's like, wow, this is very diverse and everybody is so beautiful. Um, the thing that we do is we believe in family. And that has to do with not just pushing people on constantly. And you have to work with the hardest person to deal with to really find your harmony, not the easiest person. Because <laughs> you're not finding anything, you're just being given, you know. So we have to work really hard 
like for 50 years almost, to try to get the concept in people's heads about working together, that it extends to the outside world. Hey, it's Isaac here. I hope you enjoyed this video. We are going to be having a new documentary every two weeks. In the meantime, go check out some of our other videos or let us know in the comments what you would like to see on this channel, whether it be a story idea, a video, or documentary idea. We'd love to hear your feedback on that. So make sure you've subscribed and we'll see you in the next video.